I invite former Representative Paul Hilligan to the left. Thank you, Sheila, and good evening all. It is so fitting that tonight we're celebrating the 110th anniversary of the League and Gilda. Both have been and are champions, consequential champions, of opportunity for children, families, and all the people of Michigan, but especially those who are experiencing barriers to opportunity. Gilda, I'm not sure you're aware that we were born less than a month apart, <laughs> attended the University of Michigan at the same time, and were shaped in many ways by the civil rights and anti-war movements in the late 60s and early 70s on the Ann Arbor campus. We didn't serve at the same time in the legislature. I wish we had. You prepared well for the State House and Senate as a teacher, a city commissioner, and a county commissioner. And all your experience has enriched your leadership in life after the legislature. It has been my privilege to work with you in your roles with the Michigan League for Public Policy, on the new Detroit Board, uh, the Council of Michigan Foundations, and now the Michigan Consensus Policy Project. Thankfully, I don't think you'll ever really retire. That's true of you as well, Paul. <laughs> In our work together, my respect for and appreciation of your humble servant leadership has only continued to grow. How to describe your approach to all you've contributed? Well, you have done that for us, beautifully, in a column you wrote reflecting on your 50-year journey of stewardship. What you shared as mantras for public service, advocacy, and policy change bear repeating tonight. You wrote, show up, keep putting in the work, and plugging away. Don't take yourself too seriously. Take your job seriously. Don't spit in the water because you may have to drink it someday. <laughs> in other words, embrace compromise and flexibility. Don't sweat the small stuff. Pick your battles. Relationships matter. Public service, politics, and policy advocacy nearly any endeavor, all come back to relationships. And have patience. Policy changes can take years, but change is worth the wait and the effort. Gilda, you've lived these mantras. And I'll add one more you've lived by at the League and everywhere else you've served. Place policy ahead of partisanship. Yeah. We are thankful for who you are and the example you've set. The life you've modeled does give us hope for better days of consensus building around equity and opportunity for all. Thank you, Gilda. She's made an impression on each of us, has connected us, has united us behind the cause of working for Michigan's people. One person whom Gilded has worked alongside and inspired is deeply familiar with what it means to work for Michigan's people. And although she was unable to be here tonight, she is with us via video. We're pleased to share this message now from Governor Gretchen Whitmer. 